Equity is core to public health. And for Michigan Public Health, it's something that we also embrace and center in all of our work. The Collaboration for Equitable Health is a $25 million funded initiative by the Bank of America to bring together the American Heart Association, the American Cancer Society, the American Diabetes Association, and the University of Michigan School of Public Health to tackle chronic disease issues facing the nation across 11 cities, specifically in historically marginalized communities. What we know is that too many communities across the U.S do not have what they need to live healthier lives. Poverty, income equality, food insecurity, and lack of safe, affordable housing all have significant implications for health risk. As we support across our foundation, the opportunity to advance economic opportunity for under-resourced communities, we must consider the whole person. We are focused on three key areas in each community, education and capacity building for health systems, patients and partners, increasing access to health screenings and preventative care, and advocating for policies that ensure fair opportunities and resources. And so the specific role really that we play in, in context of this collaboration is that we focus on evaluation. And we're really uniquely positioned as a School of Public Health to be able to do that, given our work and methods and our historical partnerships with communities. The highest prevalence of diabetes in the nation is within the American Indian population. And so what we've done is partnered with uh, Boys and Girls Club in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. And the reason that's important is because they are a community-based organization that is already embedded in the community with built-in trust. And so we are implementing an intervention called Project Power. And so what we've done is implemented the program in such a way that is fun through jump rope, through animation and videos, through music, through dancing. And so part of that is related to meeting people where they are and staying there. And so it is very important, the collaboration that we have with the University of Michigan, because at least we'll be able to identify the outcomes, we'll be able to communicate the outcomes, and hopefully we'll be able to scale the work that we're doing. Detroit is a city that unfortunately is experiencing disproportionately high rates of obesity, type 2 diabetes, cancer, and other cardiovascular conditions, all of which are related to stress and physical inactivity. And through the initiative, the American Heart Association has invested in and is working closely with Detroit Greenways Coalition. It's a coalition with the mission to promote and build a network of greenways complete streets and bike lanes that will connect people and places, improve the quality of life, beautify neighborhoods, and stimulate neighborhood level economic development in Detroit. So the city of Detroit made a major complete streets investment in this road and narrowed it down to three lanes. They added these, uh, these gray uh, bike lanes that are at the sidewalk level and they really widened the sidewalks. And what that's done is it's made more opportunity for businesses to put in outdoor cafes, it lets bikes ride by here comfortably, and it's slowed down traffic. Prostate cancer disparities within black men is very, very significant. We are working across advocacy, access to care, and the Activate work, which is building capacity within communities. Most notably uh, in Chicago, we have trained an army of what we call health equity ambassadors, which are boots on the grounds in communities. They are trusted messengers working to improve health outcomes. This is really a very significant collaboration. And so it's really important for us as we're working with communities that are struggling with many issues across the health spectrum that we do so in part partnership so that we're building trusted relationships in communities across diabetes, across cancer, across heart disease and other initiatives. This is really the first time all of these entities have come together to improve the health of communities across the country. They have a huge national footprint individually, but collectively they could have an even larger impact by working together to tackle chronic diseases. 
This is a wonderful example in my mind of a partnership that crosses boundaries across sectors, allowing an academic institution to collaborate and partner with amazing health nonprofits, uh, and then also in the private sector with support from Bank of America. So I'm really, really delighted. And I hope actually that this collaboration will serve as a model that spurs similar kind of activity addressing other public health needs. Thank you.